Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Math 10C Chapter 6, Lesson 2, Slope-Intercept Form of the Equation for a Linear Function. Today we're going to draw a line given its slope and a point on the line. We're going to determine another point on the line given the slope and a point on the original line, and we're going to determine the slope and y-intercept of a given linear relation from its graph and write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. Now, the equation of any line that is not vertical can be written in slope-intercept form. Now the equation of a line when written is y equals mx plus b gives information about the line. m is the slope and b is its y-intercept. So we look at the graph here. Our b value is our y-intercept and we have a slope going up m. Okay. Now, the beauty of this is really easy to graph. But before we get that far, let's do a few example questions here. Identify the slope and the y-intercept. Well, m is 3, the, y, the slope, and my y-intercept is minus 7. For this one here, my slope is minus 4 over 9, and my b value, my y-intercept, is plus 7. This third one here is sneaky. We see my constant, my b value, is 3, but what's my slope, m? Well, if I wrote this plus 0x, then you see the slope is 0. What we have is a horizontal line. Okay. Sneaky. Now, a line is slope minus 7 over 4 and a y-intercept of 5. Write an equation for this line. Well, that's m, that's b, so y equals mx plus b, or in this case y equals minus 7 over 4, x plus 5. Okay? Now, a couple more questions. A line is the slope of 1 half, m, and the y-intercept of b of minus 3. Circle the correct equation and graph. Now, um, which one has minus 3 right here? That's m of 1 half and b. So if that's the correct graph, Oh, sorry, that's the correct equation. Now, which is the correct graph? Well, the nice thing about this, it's really easy to graph. First thing you do is find the y-intercept b, minus 3. Nope. Yes, that's minus b equals minus 3, and that is b equals minus 3. Now, which of these two has a slope of plus 1 half? It has to be that graph, because it's going up. This is a negative slope going down. Okay? Now, here's the advantage of using the slope-intercept form. Graph this. y equals minus 5 fourths x minus 2. Really easy. That's my m. That's my b. I go to my b value. y is minus 2. And then I use that uh, base point for my slope. I go down 5, 1, 2, 5, and over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. I have two points, I can draw a line between them, but let's go back four, one, two, three, four, and up five, one, two, three, four, five. It always helps to have more than one point, or more, more than two points. And there we go. Eh, that's not a very good drawing. Oh, you poopy head, stop that. There we go. That is y minus 5 fourths x minus 2. And that's the beauty of the slope-intercept form. It's really easy to graph. And what's even easier is what your graphing calculator uses. So, to graph a line on the TI-83, well, turn it on. Press the y equals button up here. Enter the equation in your line. The y equal part is already there for you. And note the x button here just below the mode button and after that graph so take a moment and graph this equation actually let's go on let's graph this one y equals 5x plus 2 so go y equals 5x plus 2 and hit graph and you should get a line that looks like this it will start at plus 2 and go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
over one. So it should go like that. Okay. Now, that's the beauty of the graphing calculator. It does it really quickly once you put it in. Now, of course, you're going to have to change your windows. Note, I'm going from minus 2 here to 10 on my y, and minus 4 to 4 on my x value. So don't forget to change your windows. Well, you don't have to, but if you change your windows, you should get the exact same shape as I get. Now, that's one thing. If you want to play with the windows, great. But what I really want you to do is go second button, the yellow, and then press the graph, which is table. And you should get an X, Y table. Like that. And this is the other nice thing about the graphing calculator. You can use the button to scroll down to 12. And when you get there, you see what the value for x is. You don't have to do the calculations. And it should be um, 62. OK? So practice that. If you need to, pause the recording. Do this again on your graphing calculator if you feel comfortable doing it. OK? Actually, I'm going to end the recording here. We'll continue this on the next video. If you've got any questions, shoot me an email. But this is important. Practice this till you get it. And if you have problems, email me. I'll help you. Or see me in class. Good luck.